what should be the general do's and don'ts uh, during the preparation of GATE 2026. So I'm just getting a feeling as if I'm not on the right track, I'm not getting the learning path, what should I do next? So sometimes people ask, sir, uh, how should I, because there, there may be some concepts, sir, I'm even though I have, uh, I have read two times, three times, but still I'm able to follow. No, don't, don't get disheartened. Uh, people say that uh, placement during this season is slightly dull and uh, therefore some students might be making up their mind preparing their ground for, for writing the gate exam. Hello dear students, welcome to GFG, this is Khalil Khan. And in this uh, video session today, we are going to look into what should be the general do's and don'ts uh, during the preparation of gate 2026. Many gate aspirants might have already completed uh, almost all the subjects. Some of them might have completed 80%, 70% and some maybe 50%. And maybe the late uh, coming, late coming students might be just planning to start their get preparation uh, in the coming four months. So almost we have got four months left over for get 2026. So many students have been uh, sending messages, uh, emails, and uh, other chat messages asking us to uh, what should be the general do's and don'ts because. Uh, some of them, they, they, they say that they are feeling nervous and they are feeling uh, demotivated, right? And some are basically thinking that even though I have completed my syllabus, so I'm just getting a feeling as if I'm not on the right track, I'm not getting the learning path, what should I do next, okay? So in that regard, we thought why not we make a simple video. So rather than discussing about the optimal strategy, how to get up uh, maximum marks during this time, it is more essential to discuss it is more important to discuss okay, what should be the general do's and don'ts during the leftover time of the gate preparation. Okay, so uh, those of you who are basically uh, planning to start uh, their preparation for gate 2026, I would like to uh, inform them that yes, definitely there is still a chance for them if not to get a single digit rank, they can definitely try for double digit rank or maybe a decent gate score so that they can enter into the IIT campus. That's very much possible. Okay, for that, uh, you have to basically chalk out an action plan and then you need to basically uh, order your subjects, make, I mean, make a total order relation-like among all the subjects that should uh, meet all the requirements. So you have to basically focus on high-yielding topics, important subjects, and uh, chalk out a, a proper strategy, proper action plan so that you can complete the syllabus along with PYQs and also you should be able to solve some decent number of mock tests before giving gate exam. Primarily, if you don't uh, do PYQs and uh, if you don't uh, uh, try for test series, then that is going to hamper your gate preparation, okay? So those of you who have completed the subjects, those of you who are nearing to the completion, it is quite essential to uh, understand that you have to basically take up the PYQs and also uh, the test series. So boys and girls, without uh, wasting much time, let's focus on uh, do's and don'ts for getting safe marks and what should be the general approach for writing the GATE exam also, okay? So what is uh, GATE and uh, why it matters? This particular slide is basically for those who are uh, planning perhaps because uh, people say that uh, placement during this season is slightly dull and uh, therefore some students might be making up their mind, preparing their ground for, for writing the GATE exam. So essentially GATE is a exam which is used for taking admission into uh, premier institutes of our country, uh, namely ISC, IIT and top NITs and also triple ITs uh, for, for doing a PG program and also GATE exam will uh, help you uh, to take up uh, PSUs, public sector unit jobs. So it's an aptitude test in engineering which is uh, essentially a, a one of the premier uh, exams of the uh, a country, it's a gateway to premium I, I, M Tech programs and prestigious PSU careers. So almost uh, 10 plus lakh students uh, compete annually in all the streams of engineering. And uh, you look at that, the past percentage, those who successfully qualify is around 16 to 80 percent. Okay. So top institutes and government jobs, uh, basically you can think. So essentially, uh, everybody, those who completed and those who are planning to start their preparation, they have to basically understand the exam pattern, look at the syllabus very clearly, right? Duration of the exam, type of questions, examination sections, like you have general aptitude for 15 marks, which constitute, constitute uh, other, other uh, domains like engineering, mathematics, and subject-specific questions. 
and the duration as you know is a three uh, hour duration 65 questions and a total of 100 marks it carries uh, negative marking for mcq msq and numerical answer type uh, there is no negative marking msq there is no negative marking okay so that is about the pattern so what you should not be doing i mean uh, you should not be ignoring the time management that is very very essential for any competitive exam time management play a very crucial role if you are not managing your time then essentially it, uh, what will happen is uh, there will be some questions which you can solve but you, you will not be able to do because of lack of time management so in that regard i i say that you prepare um, the basic objective of test series should be to manage your time to learn that skill of time management that should be the main objective of test series you should not really bother about what is your performance how you are performing in the test series that that should not i generally advocate that the purpose of test series should be for two reasons number one to manage your time learn to manage your time and number two to check your level of preparation whether all the subjects have been covered or not or are there any specific questions which are unable to solve that implies that particular concept you are still lacking and you have to pay uh, full attention to okay so that is about time management we should not and this is very important at this point of time for those students who have already completed their syllabus and those who are nearing to completion and those who completed 50 percent of their syllabus so focus on high yielding topics per subject you should identify what are the important topics like for example if you talk about operating systems i would say for focusing on uh, synchronization cpu scheduling right and in uh, memory management topics like paging multi-level paging etc play a very crucial role so every subject will have some high weightage topics high yielding topics so you should primarily focus on that so you can in consultation with your mentors in consultation with your respective respective faculty you should identify and and try to correlate what are the important sub important topics in the subject high yielding topics so that you can put your uh, focus uh, right so that is uh, anything. so prioritize your high scoring areas like for example programming data structures algorithms and engineering mathematics it has been seen many of the time that the students do not pay attention to engineering mathematics uh, or, or aptitude even though those, those, those are very important and those are uh, high yielding topics they are going to play a very crucial role in in your score right so uh, pay full attention to programming i mean uh, engineering mathematics and aptitude also and analysis of the past papers as i said uh, pyqs to see the pattern of the questions and to see in what uh, areas the questions have been more focusing on that analysis essentially is very important so identify the recurring important topics and patterns like for example if you if you talk about operating systems again uh, i would say consistently for the past four or five years you are seeing one question compulsory from cpu should be okay generally majority of the questions are from synchronization and then memory management like paging and uh, uh, multi-level paging etc so those are like high yielding topics every subject you have to focus on algorithm when you talk about like for example uh, asymptotic analysis definitely you will expect one or two questions and then sorting methods definitely you expect one or two questions so like that there will be some areas in every subject dbms you talk about functional dependencies right normalization you can expect some questions concurrency control you can expect some questions networking data link layer protocol tcp ip protocol you can expect some numerical questions so like that every every paper every every subject you you can basically identify such recurring topics balancing study time is very important many a times i have seen students adopt an ad hoc approach for preparation that's not going to work out you should have a very uh, planned and smart way of preparing uh, the subjects preparing devote your time divide your time into discrete intervals so look like the time quantum so have some time quantums the strategy should be different for college going students and the strategy should be different for uh, the droppers or those who are full timers okay so those who are full timers i would strongly recommend that you should basically i mean preparing for on full time basis you should basically focus on spending at least to 10 to 12 hours per day and those who are college going student minimum can spare 4 to 5 hours per day so you divide your time for completing the subjects divide your time for revision divide your time for 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 uh, pyqs like that okay so first make sure that all the topics are completed then you attempt pyq then you take up test series don't mix up don't get nervous don't get demotivated demoralized right never ever go for peer comparison no don't think that my uh, friends have already completed their subjects and then they have completed one or two rounds rounds of revision that's not going to help you identify your own weaknesses if possible try to carry out SWOT analysis what are your strengths what are your weaknesses 
In the remaining time, what are the opportunities for you, right? You identify, chalk out a plan and I'm very sure uh, with a planned approach, you can definitely uh, uh, succeed in uh, carrying out this journey. Don't cram. Don't go for last minute rush. Like for example, many a times I have seen students, they say that, okay, sir, last one month I will do PYQs or revision and last month I will take up engineering mathematics aptitude. Don't do that. Give equal importance to these uh, uh, subjects which people think generally are of less importance like aptitude and mathematics. Don't do that. Don't neglect it. Okay. And don't even think of leaving some uh, topics from some subjects. Don't do that. Every topic, every subject is important if you really want to crack gate with a good score. Start early. Those who are still in the planning stage, whether should I write or not, the gate, the gate registration date has been extended. So utilize that, register immediately and then you start off. You start off. You can do it. Within four months, definitely you can do it uh, uh, to crack gate. So create a structured st study timetable and regular revision beats intensive cramming. So practice test is key, solving past papers improves your attention rate, your, your memorization. So understanding the concept will lead to memorization. So sometimes people ask, sir, uh, how should I, because there, there may be some concepts, sir, I'm, even though I have, uh, I have read two times, three times, but still I'm unable to follow. No, don't, don't get disheartened. Even if you're unable to follow, I'm saying, watch it three, four times, watch the videos, get in touch with the faculty, get in touch with your peer friends, right? And then discuss with them, deliberate with them, and then ask them for some explanation. I'm very sure you can crack it. I'm very sure you can understand. This generally happens, particularly, for example, in my subject of operating system, I find students facing some difficulty with multi-level paging, difficulty with some synchronization mechanisms, and more importantly, in file system allocation methods and free space management, also people express their difficulties. So for, the, for these topics, I would recommend giving uh, basically uh, readings or watching the videos multiple times, reading from textbook, I'm very sure you can uh, overcome them. You can definitely get a grasp of it, okay? So practicing pre PYQs is essentially very important. So people ask, uh, sir, how many uh, years of papers we should solve? So there is nothing like that. I would say uh, for computer science and IT, you can definitely take up at least 20 to 25 years of PYQs and practice them because many a times I have seen okay, uh, questions are on the same model, similar model to PYQ. So if you understand conceptually, uh, understand the working mechanisms of uh, uh, the PYQs, then I'm very sure uh, it will help you for future future gate papers, future gate questions. Uh, give full length marks, review the mistakes, make a log of the mistakes, review the mistakes and then make sure that you are not uh, are uh, trying to repeat the same mistakes again and again, again and again. So that is uh, very important. So don't neglect easy scoring sections. Like as I said, general, just, uh, just, just now, general aptitude, engineering, mathematics and combined potential. Okay. So if you focus on these, then this is going to fetch, this is going to scale up your marks and uh, there are good chances that you can get a good scores. So these sections are scoring and easier to master. Prepare them early to build confidence and secure guaranteed marks okay what are the safe marks what uh, safe marks strategy so make sure initially you should target for at least 50 percent marks confidently right master for that master the foundations first general aptitude engineering mathematics which will make your base very strong engineering mathematics particularly play a very crucial role in other subjects also like algorithm data structures and uh, toc so focus on engineering mathematics completion first then focus on high yielding topics, high weighted topics in the core subjects and then avoid risky guesswork. Don't uh, have the habit of uh, trying to make selection of answers based on guessing. No, guessing should be done very strongly and very confidently. Otherwise, you should not be in that mode of uh, guessing always. Okay. So, uh, final tips for GATE 2026. Stay consistent, stay healthy, eat well, sleep well. Okay. Uh, only focus on quality uh, resources. Don't try to uh, take up any unauthorized sources, unauthorized content. Okay, trusted study materials, reliable online platforms. And uh, for the exam day strategy, separately we will come up with another video, right, for exam day. But stay in general, stay calm and focus, read questions carefully, manage time wisely. So essentially the very purpose of test series should be for, for, for this purpose. Simulating in your mind, emulating in your mind the exam environment, number one. Number two, time management. Number three, putting your focus. Number four, uh, reading the, the habit of reading the uh, uh, questions very carefully. 
and avoiding silly mistakes. These are the multitude benefits of taking up test series. So do take the test series to practice all that, reduce your silly mistakes, avoid uh, committing conceptual mistakes. Okay. So the, all these things will basically help you take, take up the test series and boys and girls, make sure that when you write the test series, you try to write during the same time when the exam, actual exam is conducted. Like for example, if the exam timings are 9.30 to 12.30, you do, do take up the test series from 9.30 to 12.30 or maybe because your exam may come during second shift, so 2.30 to 5.30, whatever is the time. So like that, during that time only you, test, you take up the test series so that your mind gets in tune with the, uh, that exam day schedule, okay? Now coming to the uh, GFG platform, GFG platform in view of the uh, late comers or late uh, uh, people who are trying to register for GATE now, we are coming up with an excellent uh, uh, subscription, excellent batch called Crash Course, paid Crash Course for a very discounted price of 2999 with Agni Pariksha Crash Course combo is 3999. The code we are giving for 40% off, okay? So you have to apply the code like DEAL40. So this Crash Course will have multitude benefits. We are going to cover uh, the all the subjects in a crisp way along with that we will also provide you test series and mentorship sessions okay uh, and the general USP you, you can see for the crash course comprehensive coverage of 400 hours of crisp and focused theory lectures designed to strengthen core concepts PYQs included detailed solution or uh, discussion of pre previous year questions for better exam oriented preparation extensive practice questions 5000 plus case, uh, questions carefully curated DPP questions along with complete video solutions. And then personalized guidance in the form of dedicated mentorship, exclusive test series, free access within this uh, pricing of uh, 299 or combo along with Agni Pariksha. Agni Pariksha is basically exclusive for practice, practicing questions, Agni Pariksha. So that's a USP of crash course. So it's a very good opportunity, I believe for the gate aspirant, those who are planning to write gate 2026, they can think of taking up this uh, uh, batch with an ultra affordable price. So big saving sales, 40% off on all uh, or GFG batches. Use the code DEAL40. Okay, this is basically for a limited uh, period of time. So that's it uh, for this video. Hope to see you next again. Something coming up with uh, something more uh, useful and more interesting to build your confidence. Take care. Goodbye.